All right, let's see if you can follow this. This is the last Laplace transform video. So, you know what happens next. I'll see you uh, uh, working that practice test. I guess the, the practice test answers on the video uh, would be the last one. But this is the last material, and it's a big one. And I'm going to ask you about this, but I've got some good news for you that I'm saving for the end. So, I'm taking a problem right out of the book. It's one of the homework problems. Eh, that way I can check the answer. So here's the problem right here. It goes all the way across the board. You've got the second order equals a direct delta. It's just a one in front. The one in front doesn't matter. You could be 100 in front. You want that punch to be big. So this is an explosion, more like a pop. But the idea is this. If you did the homogeneous of this, this would be, this would, if you solved it, you'd have to do the uh, r squared plus 2r plus 5 equals 0. And if you do the quadratic formula, because it doesn't factor, you would end up with, you'd end up with a uh, negative 1 plus 2i. The r equals negative 1 plus 2i plus or minus 2i, which means you're going to have e to the negative t, and you have sine and cosine, and, you know, times sine and cosine, which means you got something that vibrates and dies out. So the way I would like you to think of all these explosion problems is the way that I learned it on my own at a math conference. The speaker was a guy who has, he said, I have the greatest job on earth. I uh, get uh, discarded plane fuselages and I coat the insides with various materials to try and see what can stand up to an explosion. <laughs> what was good is he said, and, and you can understand this, you have in a plane, the pressure is not constant because there's a little pump that's always keeping the air pressure up. But the pump is a wah, 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 wah. Those of you who have flown, flown in a plane feel that. You know, the pressure is close to constant, but there's, a, there's the vibration of the engine and the vibration of the air pump going. And so inside the plane, it's vibrating. So you'd have a sine or cosine model for the steady state. And then, you know, some maniac lights a, a bomb off in his underwear. Boom! You know, so there's this explosion. There's this change in pressure. And what his job was, can we design something that doesn't add too much to the weight of the airplane, but that holds the fuselage together? Because if you can survive the explosion, you know, if the plane can survive the explosion, you can land it. But if you blow open a, so a hole on the side, people get sucked out and the plane might, the whole plane might go down. Not good. So anyway, that was good. So, so what we've got here is we've got a vibrating system, but the vibrations die out over time. But there's a pop. At time step three, there's a pop. So you got vibrating, dying out, pop. Vibrating, dying out is probably what's going to happen when you see it. So let's see what we get out of this. So here's how you do this stuff. Uh, you hit everybody with the Laplace transform. This is the Laplace transform of the second, you know, the, the second derivative, y double prime, over here. Then this is two times the Laplace plant transform of y prime, right here. And then five times the Laplace transform of y. So all this is just the Laplace transform of the left. And then the right-hand side, the Laplace transform of delta sub 3. Notice it's not delta sub 4. You know, the book right away says, well, don't be addicted to 4. You know, it can be whatever number you want it to be. So you factor out all this stuff, and you see your old friend, um, r squared plus 2r plus 5, s squared plus 2s plus 5. That always happens. And then you shove everything else to the other side. Now you divide by s squared plus 2s plus 5. And s squared plus 2s plus 5 is nice. Check it out. Here's what I did. You have the s over the s squared plus 2s plus 5. You have the 1 over the s squared plus 2s plus 5, which is also s squared plus 2s plus 1 plus 4. That's still plus 5. But s squared plus 2s plus 1 is s plus 1 quantity squared plus 2 squared. It's uh, complete the square. Uh, we could we could talk about it. You can read about it. Complete the square. So we completed the square down there. Each of these denominators is the same as that one. So treat them the same. And now you're ready, honest to God, you're actually ready for the inverse Laplace transform. So you say Beetlejuice, 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 and you do the inverse Laplace transform. And you get y equals, and on this side, this guy here, when you rewrite this as s plus 1 quantity squared times uh, 2 squared, it matches the table. You get exactly e to the negative t cosine 2t. This guy here, when you rewrite the bottom as s plus 1 squared plus 2 squared, you get exactly e to the negative t sine 2t. This guy, you got to think about it. This guy, I need to be able to do its derivative. 
or not, not derivative, I have to be able to do its inverse Laplace transform. And what's funny is, for this structure, if you look on the table, you need an omega. You need a 2. So you get, a, you get that 2 in there. And with that 2, you score. You are all set. And, uh, but you can't have that 2 on its own. You need a 1 half. And that 1 half survives. That 1 half right there survives. And then the, you use the table. And it's u sub 3 of t. From that negative 3 right there, that's u sub 3. And then from that 3 here, t minus 3 for every occurrence of t. t minus 3. So you use the sign for the... Uh, Pretending this e to the negative 3s isn't there, you'd use sine, but you'd need a 2 there to use sine. So anyway, that's how it goes. That's how you evaluate. You have to practice this. It is not easy to take that last answer and hit it with the inverse Laplace transform. You have to practice and think about it. Now I want to show you the good news. There's a slight bit of good news. If you were to simply say, well, you know, if it wasn't for that pop, this thing would be an easy system because it's zero all the time on the right-hand side. Well, the homogeneous solution um, works because if you notice, this is the homogeneous solution right here. There's the homogeneous solution. And then this thing, all the direct deltas turn out to have a term like that. It's always sine. It's always t minus whatever that number is there. The only number you can't get is that number in front of the u sub s because you only get it until you've done all the work and you've got to do the adjustment. you got to do this adjustment. So I don't know any way to tell you ahead of time how to get that one half. Because that's otherwise you'd know everything about it. But that's really good news because now for any explosion problem, the answer looks like this. This comes from the homogeneous solution. This guy always has the sign, always has that little t minus 3 or t minus whatever. All right, you guys, and that's it. One more uh, video to go, and that'll just be the answers to the practice test. Laplace transforms over and out.